I just wanted to show you a little movie about the parts I already gathered on my Hemsen Linde air liquefier. I've got two lengths of 5 meter copper tubing. A big one is uh, 50 millimeter outer and 30 millimeter inner diameter. And the smaller one that goes in, thinner one actually, is um, 8 millimeter outer and 6 millimeter inner. So uh, we're going to screw it right in there. And um, it makes for the heat exchanger. And then I've got uh, this little length of 12 mm copper tubing for the D superheater. And I've got this small air tank. It actually comes from a train. It's about one liter. And uh, I will use this as the tank for liquid oxygen uh, air. I'm only a bit afraid to use it because it's already a bit oxidated, oxidized, and um, I'm not sure, really sure, if it's safe to use an iron tank with liquid air. As we all know, iron will oxidate faster; it will rust faster if it gets colder. So at minus 200, and liquid air, liquid air, and oxygen, um, it actually might become an aggressive reaction. So maybe anyone has any uh, input on this, we really appreciate it. The air tank will be mounted like this. Heat exchange of course goes around, horizontally. The top side I want to make a uh, safety valve. The valve itself should be isolated from, um, from the tank for, uh, for safety reasons, it needs to work. Also when it's cold. Um, here a valve needs to come on for releasing the actual liquid air. I'm still concerned about the valve working when it's cold. And the small disappointment is um, they have printed, pressed in some text in small, small tu tubing. Uh, which is quite disappointing because uh, disturbance in airflow will create heat, unwanted losses. I'll smoothen the entrance of the heat exchanger and also the tip of the tin and tubing. We we'll smoothen for guidance. And then we will see if we can get it uh, to fit in each other. It will be a hassle. Well, it certainly didn't come out as nice as I had hoped. Quite some kinks in it. But um, it will do nicely. From the compressor I first got a rubber hose, so it can cool in the tank of the compressor, then it can cool in the rubber hose, and then we got this little thing to uh, cool it even further down to ambient. So the humidifying will be uh, a bit easier. It's not coming out, not going in. It's going either way. I don't know, I might have to stretch the whole thing out to get it in. Here's the air compressor I'm planning to use. Makes an awful lot of noise right now. Mainly got the inlet still open. Need to get some decent air filter for it. Let's see what comes out of it. If I can get it open. Uh. 